What's going on guys, today we are taking a look at Chain Guardians, which is not just a play to earn game or an NFT by staking platform, but also a launch pad as well. So these guys really are trying to cover all of the bases. Uh, recently there's been big news that the in-game currency CGC will soon be transferable to CGG, which is their governance token, uh, which you can buy on PancakeSwap and Uniswap right now, uh, which sits at around about $1.33, uh, with a seven day high of $2.47. So that's exciting news. Like I said, Uniswap, KuCoin, PancakeSwap there. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's pretty interesting. Total maximum supply on that one is 120 million, and the circulating supply at the moment is only 33 million. So back to Chain Guardians then, for those of you that don't know, a decentralized sci-fi and anime inspired gaming universe. So right now there is an RPG game that is ready to play, which we'll show you in a second. Uh, they also have the NFT mining. So that's an NFT staking platform where not only can you stake the Chain Guardians NFTs, but also a range of other projects and collections NFTs, which we'll also look at in a minute. Very similar to our planet but obviously on a different chain network. Um, so I haven't actually played the game yet. Uh, it's been on our radar for a while. Uh, and now with this news that we'll soon be able to turn the in-game currency into a real world recognized token that we can then exchange for whatever currency we want. Um, now, obviously, we're super interested about this one, so we'll start playing real soon, and we'll have separate videos about the RPG, PvP, and also mining as well, but I just wanted to get it on your guys' radar sooner rather than later. Um, so, yeah, so they've got a PvP, which is currently in design phase, but I, I know it is up and running now. Uh, the NFT mining game, so a staking platform, which we we'll take a look at in a minute. And then also the RPG game, which is in beta phase at the moment. So um, let's have a look. So this is literally the interface and it's on Unity Engine. Uh, so we can see here, I've got 500 soldiers. You can see the in-game currency and then the fiat, which is another in-game currency as well. You've got campaign, PVP and raid boss as well. Uh, so I think you get a certain amount of daily attempts uh, to start a raid boss and then yeah, you can earn CGG from that. Does it say how much? No, it just says rewards and you get components as well or weapons by the looks of it. Um, uh, you've got your campaign and then your PvP as well. Uh, quick match, join match, create match, all of that jazz. These are very standard soldiers and I think you can sort of upgrade them and find more heroes and NFTs and stuff as you go. Uh, you've got your inventory, uh, which I believe is crafting... Yes, so there's a store. I am on store. Um, so you buy stuff with fiat, uh, which is the in-game currency. Uh, and then in my inventory, all I've got is this little, little uh, blaster, uh, which heals people. Okay. Um, this reminds me, I don't know if any of you ever played it, but there was a Marvel game on Facebook, which initially started on Facebook, but got taken off onto a browser. Uh, and you had the Marvel characters and you had an agent that had like sort of a healing buff and like a weapon and stuff like that. And you had to go clear out like sort of um, cities and stuff like that of all the bosses and travel all the way through. Uh, and then you would unlock, you'd have to buy with in-game currency if you had enough and you could grind it out or real, you could play with credit card as well and um, buy the Marvel superheroes, and then you could get different skins from them, and if you had all of Fantastic Four with their Fantastic Four suits and stuff, then you get certain boosts and attributes and stuff. Really reminds me of that game. Uh, and then you've got sort of your team formation and stuff. Like I said, I haven't played this, so these are all like standard uh, Squad 1 noobs. So uh, yeah, as you progress through that, you'll unlock better ones. Uh, and then you've got your Hero Fusion as well, which I can't see, but... So if you'll get your element damage as well, I think like earth, wind, fire, all of that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. Like I said, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to play a bit of that and we'll cover that again in another video. But that RPG is up and running now. There's not a lot to it, but it is playable and you can start earning CGC now. 
Um, so when you can eventually transfer it for CGG, you'll be ready and waiting. Um, but I just want to point out a few things, right? So let's look at the staking. Uh, they say play, but you're really just staking an asset. So if we go on to play now. And here you have all the partnered stakeable NFTs for their platform. Uh, so some you will recognize, some you won't. So if we click on some of these, we can see it takes us straight to their open sea. Uh, and War Riders, for people that aren't familiar, is sort of a game that doesn't really have many people playing it, or last time I checked didn't, but they still have quite a consistent amount of decent sales. Like, look, there's 2.2 ETH there, um, 3 ETH, 3 ETH, 1 ETH. It's insane. So definitely worth looking at if you guys haven't, and we will get a video covering that one soon as well. And then these Crypto Skulls, which the floor is sort of 0 0.03 to 0 0.05 at the moment. So yeah, there's other projects that you're able to stake on their platform as well. So if we have a look at stats, like I said, I haven't done any of this myself. So you're able to stake all the in-game NFTs as well. So once I've played the RPG for a little bit, I will have uh, like sort of offices and stuff that I'll be able to stake on here to start earning my passive income from that as well. So you have rewards in CGG, CGC, bit rewards, uh, mix rewards and bondly rewards. So I don't know what half of these things are. Um, but also if you have a look, there's sort of pool mining as well, um, which you can join. Oh, apparently I can join this one, even though I have anything. Okay. So you've got a fee of 10 CGCs enter a pool as well. Uh, so you really do need to play a little bit of the RPG free to play. So essentially what they're saying is you can play this complete free to play. You can start with no investment at all. You can grind out the RPG, collect the NFTs, stake them on the on here. And obviously you'll earn your CGC as well so that you'll be able to enter the pool for mining. Um, so that is all quite interesting. And yeah, you know, it doesn't matter where you are, or what your investment is, you're still able to work your way up. So that's what we like to see. I'm just going to take us back. Let's go back. So we're back on the main website now. Uh, so we've looked at the games, we looked at the staking platform, we've looked at the partners. I'm just going to jump in now. So you've got the Guardian program, uh, and this is sort of for early adopters as well. And I think, I believe this is all still open. What is the program? CGG holders will have the opportunity to rise through our ranks. Our entry rank is 500 CGG which unlocks multiple exclusive rewards and benefits. By advancing through the ranks, many substantial perks will continue to unlock. Why? Chain Guardians is designed for blockchain enthusiasts to interact with their investments and gamers to own their in-game accomplishments. As we continue to make our vision a reality, the priority is to demonstrate our commitment and gratitude to early supporters. So. If you look here, the floor is 500 CGG, which is obviously like $600 or something. Uh, and that gets you 5% off all the exclusive merchandise, early access to the beta testing and the newest game builds uh, an additional in-game currency CGC on each month. Um, obviously, you aren't paying 500 CGG. That's just for holding it. OK, so if you invest now, you're, you know, you see it as a viable investment opportunity. Uh, then just by holding this, we'll unlock these perks as well. Um, realistically, I think that this is probably where you want to go because you're going to get 5% NFT mining boost as well. Um, but then it also goes down to the Lieutenant, the Captain, and all the way down to Guardian uh, and Legendary Guardian, which is absolutely insane amount. So 100,000, which probably would have been possible when it was at its all-time low of 12 cents, but right now at $1.33, does not look possible from where I am stood. Maybe next year. Uh, but yeah, all all perks to take on board and uh, interesting ways of sort of uh, giving more utility to their token uh, and making people hold it. All interesting things to take on board and interesting stuff to look at. And a few more things to look at before we end this video. Um, so they've got their tokenomics as well which we're going to have a quick gander at. Um, so what is CGG? So stake in, earn rewards such as powerful NFTs and partner tokens, uh, token lockup and earn APY, 
provide liquidity and earn power LPT. So yeah, again, more um more benefits to people that hold CGG. Uh, because if you're you know you're earning these NFTs and then you can stake the NFTs and then you know if it if it works out well and you know there is a mass adoption and it does scale up, then you're going to be stuck in sort of this passive income loop. Uh, which at one point, you know, our planet was for everybody, uh, where you're sort of like, you're farming the in-game currency, which you can trade for whatever currency you want, but also you can use that currency to earn NFTs, which then you stake, which earns you more passive income. So uh, it, if they get the tokenomics right and there's enough adoption and uh, enough supply and demand and they don't increase the supply more than the demand, then this will work very well. So governance... Uh, submitting proposals for ecosystem design changes, vote on proposals submitted by community members, and then payments, purchase NFTs and collectible merchandise. Um, so yeah, total supply is 120 million. Uh, play to earn platform staking, so earn CGC. Um, used at the moment for in-game assets, uh, NFT minting fees, uh, and CG swag, uh, physical merchandise. Um, and then option to convert CGC to CGG. So then you convert that and then you can earn, uh, you've got the DeFi staking farm, like we said, liquidity rewards as well. Um, and then here you've got all the allocation as well. So 11% to the ecosystem, 45% to community members, 2% uh, was the public sale, 19% early adopters and 23% to team and advisors. Um, and then sort of you've got, their uh token release schedule sort of over the next five years um but yeah i i think uh they, there's enough interesting things here to get me interested to look more into this obviously guys do all of your own research we are simply putting this on your radar um you do with it whatever you will um just make sure that you do your own research before you make any sort of investment um the last thing, no, actually, there's a couple more things I want to look at before we jump off. They're medium articles. Uh, so there's not loads of them, but I always check out the medium articles as well as the teams where we're covering projects now. And just so you know, the team is fully doxxed as well. So you can check that out. And there's some pretty he big heavyweights here as well. And these guys aren't screwing around. Like their marketing and partnership programs are getting bigger and bigger. So, you know, they want crypto mass adoption they want to be at the forefront of nft fi staking so i think they're, they're they're pretty amped up to do it as well so one of the interesting things which is from a day ago on their media article as well is that they've got a collaboration with uh fidera 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 fi fidera 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 i know you guys love trolling me on my pronunciation um but these guys, if you look into it, they're super cool, man. Uh, so they're making like, uh, they're, obviously they're, they're driving global adoption of cryptocurrencies and NFTs, right? So they've made, or they are looking into uh, sort of gift cards, right? That are cryptocurrency. So if you're able to use uh, a gift card in like a department store or something like that, or like, you know, you can send it to your grandson for Christmas or whatever your jam is, then he can have like $200 of Bitcoin or something like that. So if that gift card is an NFT and it has cryptocurrency on it, that is within its own right, completely revolutionary if you ask me. And I think a lot of people don't understand that over the next sort of five to 10 years, NFTs are going to be taking over quite a lot of stuff. Like if you imagine you're going to have a concert ticket or something like that, it's going to be sort of an NFT, you scan it when you get there and then it just burns uh, or your yearly subscription to the gym could be an NFT, which is on the blockchain, you know, and then it can, it just burns itself after a year or automatically renews. Um, the adoption of NFTs is going to be completely insane. It's not just going to be uh, gamified things or um, collectible art, okay? Um, but yeah, so that's an interesting partnership as well as loads of other interesting partnerships that they've got as well. Like I said, they're not messing around. And just before we go on to the last thing that I wanted to cover, I forgot to show you the OpenSea for the Chain Guardians NFTs as well. Um, so their main sort of uh, captains or guardians or generals, whatever they call them, uh, they go for some pretty good, 
pretty decent money on um you can see this guy went was going for like eleven ETH. Um so if we have a look at the recent transaction. So zero point four three days ago, twenty four minutes ago, zero point two seven. So yeah, there's definitely some decent sales here. Maybe that was wrapped because these sales don't amount to that. But yeah, that definitely sold for 13.9 ETH at one point. Uh, but anyway, all of these NFTs are completely stakeable uh, on their NFT platform. So the last thing I want to check out is their chain boost, uh, which is essentially a launch pad for new projects. Um, and the more CGC you have yourself, the easier you're able to get involved in these projects earlier on. Um, I think you have your own boost out score here. Um, so depending on your interaction, your collection of CGG, uh, and all of that stuff gives you a higher boost score, which allows you to get into these projects sooner. And some of these projects, I'm not going to lie, are pretty interesting. So you got baby lawns here, right? And I'd never heard of this before. Um, but I went and checked it out and this is a BSC marketplace. Um, and when you actually go to their market, they've actually got some pretty cool collections on here. Um, they got block, block jewelers on here. Um, what else did they have on here that interested me? Um, so yeah, we got block jewelers. You've got the, uh, Pepe Mon, which is obviously a stakeable asset for them as well. Um, so it sort of, it benefits them to help these other projects and of course if you've launched your own thing successful and successfully and you've got all of that team and all of that um resources ready to go why not launch your own launch pad right um and then also some of the ones that are coming up as well you've got polka fantasy uh forest night uh and this one looked pretty interesting as well so it looks like a um like a real-time strategy game um, which you could see on sort of Facebook or mobile or something like that. And then you earn the in-game currency night token as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a really good project, I think. Uh, and you know, we got 11 days if we want to get involved with this one, we got 11 days to sort of get that. Yeah. So out mobile, uh, turn-based strategy, PVP arena, own your own items. So there'd be NFTs. Uh, they've got their little roadmap there. I think Chain Guardians is definitely one that's going to be stuck around for a while. So yeah, I never would have known about this Forest Knight. And I think that that is potentially a good investment opportunity. And I will be doing more research into that. So I think Chain Guardians is definitely um, putting their stamp onto the NFT and blockchain space. Uh, so if you guys didn't already know, now you know. Please do all your own research before making any investments. Hope you've enjoyed the video. As always, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let us know down below in the comments what you thought. And as always, invest smart.